Alrighty, welcome back to episode 28 of our Red Dead Redemption 2 story playthrough. We are continuing on with our story. It looks like we're doing a mission for Dutch I'm next. The moon. Just give me just a second here while I get everything set up. Mister. I got G-Force. I'm on. I'm using G-Force just fine. Yeah. Hello there. Yeah, I haven't experienced any problem with mine at all. One thing that does, uh, and it's not that it drives me insane, it's uh, one thing that I caught me off guard is I didn't realize how much it was going to turn everything else down whenever uh, it get back in with the cattle. And I don't know if it's because I haven't messed with the settings enough to get it where it doesn't, but every time I have a game going, it slows down my browser speed and everything like that a lot. More shit. Can't expect much different. There you are. Come but on. It, it Keep makes walking. my game You're late. Well, well, days in this well, place have turned really into some cock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. You can. Ladies you and focus. gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you. Have and none of you will die. The, uh, Annoy five me, finger and you all whatever. will. Now, remember, hand over we just all your want money, money now. Don't make Quick. us kill you. Okay. Mr. M, up. leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, pick that room back there. All your money now. Don't nice. make me ask Put twice. Okay. Not mine. It's fine. It's yours. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said open the gate and let now, my acquaintance I'm going to need everything you got. Here. What? Of course. There's nothing really it. here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That Let's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. We got more on the right. That's how you want to do it. We got some in those. 
those alleyways, Arthur. End up on that balcony. Bronte is gonna pay for this. It's all over. Some riders coming on this side. Hard to cover our Plenty. Need you on the left now, Arthur. Come on. Come on. Look out. Right coming out of the back. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. Private shit, private. It's everywhere. We <laughs> okay, Dad? Sure. He's fine. Then he go round. Dutch? Yeah, I'm okay. Watch out! Got someone on the balcony here! How many? Can I not pull out my other gun? Oh, I thought this was gonna happen. Come on there! Just keep shooting till nothing moves! Upside, I'm not sitting him to you directly. I can. I did get a one of my like a couple of my recent TikToks got like two to three K views. I I was annoyed because one of the videos I put like uh, an hour and a half worth of effort into and it got like thirty views. One I put no effort into and it got almost 3k. Okay, boss, I'm like, what is this bullshit?
set that up. Taylor and uh, Ken were also interested in, in finding okay. some like uh, kind of like uh, side games to play. We were talking about uh, playing some played up and a couple other things. about me just get us out of here yeah Whew. I think we're clear you know what Dutch next time it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? I'll fucking kill we him. just please. need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. have a bounty in that place even though I had my mask up. I fucking do. Gosh dang it, bro. Ugh. Gross. Now I gotta sneak my way back into town. Let's 
Piantare di ripeterlo? Lo so! This is important. Front is wanted us to handle this, nobody else. You really think this word is important? If just one of them comes through, it will be worth it. Sei così rincoglionito che non capisci neanche le stronzate che dici. <laughs> well, if we do find one of them, I'll bring Bronte the corpse myself. You can wait outside. Now all the roads are being watched, is that what's happening? so far.
Well, hello again. Quite the bounty you acquired, ain't it? Good day to you. Come on, folks. Travel in comfort and safety. What are you doing? Let me get through. Gosh. Good morning. Hey, I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> And I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn. Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What right a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I. Damn says I didn't. I. I'm an old man. This has never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. <laughs> Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that feather. You know what? I kind of like that feather. Morning. Morning indeed, sir. Come on all the way back over here. To do that mission. The price I pay for having a fantastic story ending. Hey, 
Welcome to Cao Chow. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, sir. When you're ready, Jesus, have a bitch. Just fucking run. Just fucking run. Make your pockets. Go, go after That's him. That's it. Now I've seen everything. Bro. I think you have me mistaken, sir. I cannot believe Stop it. Stop chasing me. No, get a move on. You I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm right here. <sighs> That's doing business with you. Oh, Lordy. That's all I took. I swear. Don't kill me. I suppose it was only a matter of time before the riverboat was robbed. Volcanic pistol. Fuck, let's get one of those bad boys.
That's all I care about. I hope whoever robbed that truck. Oh man, come on, county's over. See his guns. Heck, the word is it? Well then. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come out. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. We won't I have to think this that it's Greek. To modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. It's making me blush. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent. Alive, like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. 
Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here. Hey. I'm a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Well, and truly over, let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Excuse me. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that, it was not. Arch test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'll get me is a kick in the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. How do you do? My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> My mother is naked this day. She fucking bears. Finally, I am in the range. To call up my horse. Come on, folks. All aboard. Hello. You all right, girl. One moment, please. This is hey. extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh, 
How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. I don't remember seeing that guy before. Okay then. Hello, Mr. Morgan. How you been getting on? So, Nick, a fast wish. Hello, ladies, how? 
house in the mansion district. I don't like Panda Meat. She scares me. Like, did he built on... Built on I don't know what. Built on... Hi, Bill. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. You're okay. Girl. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, 
Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a... I'm going to end this one here just because we're getting close to the hour time, and I'll be right back.